January 6th, 2024, 10 a.m. 30 robotics students sit in a dark room waiting to see what new engineering challenge FRC is going to release for this year. They've created a new game yearly since 1992, where thousands of high schoolers worldwide build robots and compete in an engineering challenge. And it's off to the races. Time to read hundreds and hundreds of pages of rules and build a new robot. But where do we even start? Not where you may think. See, the first step in our robot designing process has nothing to do with the robot itself. Our team found over the years that deciding strategy, or the what of what we want to do, was much more important than how we were going to do it. Now that we have our strategy and a good understanding of the rules, we need ideas. Hundreds upon hundreds of ideas. How can we shoot this weird orange thing into the goal called the speaker? Or heck, how do we even pick it up? This is where the brainstorming process really kicks in. This is the place where we're going to find the winning design, right? All of the champ spots have been brainstormed and brainstormed through and through, and the brainstorming process is really where we can start from to get the design for the robot. After these initial rounds of brainstorming, we narrow down the pools of ideas to a couple main concepts. This stage is where we enter the best part of the week, testing. Do belts work or do they not? How does balance work on this chain we have to climb? Do we use the most bouncy wheels or the least bouncy? Well, that's what we need to find out. Prototyping is super, super important in the engineering process because it's when we get to find out if all the designs that we've brainstormed over the past few days are going to be viable solutions to the problem at hand. It's when we get to see if, oh, do we change this axle, move it over an inch? Is that going to work better or worse than the previous design, right? And so far this week, we've designed quite a few things. So the two broad subjects are the intake and the outtake, right? So in this game, it's going to be an intake. Um, which is just going to be something that grabs the notes from the ground, and an outtake, which is going to be a shooter. For the shooter prototyping, we've done quite a few different iterations. They fall under two broad categories, wheels that are on top and below the note, or wheels on both sides of the note, which uses a flywheel mechanism like a Nerf dart, and shoots it out of the robot in that fashion. But shooting the note into the speaker isn't the only thing we have to do in this game. We also have to be able to put the note in this thing called the amp. And at the end of the game, we need to climb this chain. And we want the climber to be easy to either repair and just be simple in general. So it's one of these parts here to make it be able to move quicker because there's a binding area. That about wraps it up for week one. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week.